Hi, my name is Tiffany, and we're at Swerve Bar and Grill to enjoy our beats and eats today. And you are watching Hostel Waters TV. Hi, I'm Steel Beers. I'm with Hostel Water TV, and this is In the Spotlight. Now, today we have two guests for you in the spotlight. We have Carlin, Arrogant Warren. We also have Brent Roach. Fellas, tell us why you're in the spotlight. Okay, uh, my name is Brent Roach. Uh, I run Brent Roach Events, and I'm in the spotlight uh, as I curate events for urban professionals in the greater Cleveland area. What about you? I am Carlin, Arrogant Warren, and uh, Sort of a Jamaican, as someone was saying, wear a lot of hats, so I do a lot of different jobs. I'm here as a host and a partial promoter in this event with my brother Brent. Okay, good. So you have a lot of, you got your foot in many yeah, different Yeah, got a lot of things. Yeah. Well, I'm actually Jamaican, really. Yeah, like, yeah you I'm are like, for real. Yeah, I am. We'll have a lot of time. To, to, <laughs> we'll have a lot of time to talk about every hat that's stacked there. We're right. going to condense okay, it, okay. We're going to condense it. Now, for this, Brent today and b to okay, okay, now, b to Now, for this particular event, what is exactly that we should look forward to? Like, what are we looking for? Okay, for uh, b to it's uh, kind of a hodgepodge of different things where we mix uh, great food here at Swerve Grill, uh, live music by our resident DJ, uh, DJ Walk. Uh, we have Arrogant uh, as our host, uh, and then we also have live uh, painting by Sammy Does It, and uh, it's just a hip hop mix, brunch party, great time slash Sunday fun day. Okay, I see. Uh, I see eats. Uh, I see yeah. eats meet west meets east. Oh yeah, okay. 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 so we want to talk he, more about the west, the east. He, he, what can to tell you that? Well, he'll I'll, he can take it from there, but that every month we try to have some sort of theme. Uh, inside of what we're doing. So this is one I'm excited about today, East vs. West. But I'll let Brent tell you more about the monthly themes, like every month is something different. Right, so every so this month, like uh, you guys uh, said that this is the East Coast vs. West Coast, uh, taking it back to like 95, 96, when we had our Suge Knight, uh, Big E, uh, Beef. Uh, so last month, as we were partying, uh, I think it was a combined effort from DJ Walk and Arrogant uh, to say, hey, let's do East Coast, West Coast. And then, you know, DJ Walt called me over and said, let's use the Vibe magazine cover for a flyer. And it was born. So, you know, some of the other events that we've done are uh, Dirty South Edition. Uh, we also have a uh, Afro-Caribbean edition coming up. We're going to do reggae, salsa, calypso music. Looking for it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's March 5th coming up. So... Uh, we just try to do everything based around hip hop music, uh, great food, and um, just everybody who's involved, our love for um, the era that we came up with. It's always fun because the thing is, it's from one to five. So if you uh, get a little bit too tipsy, you drink too much, you got to go to work on Monday, you got plenty of recovery time. <laughs> so and music, is like, like. music like. is like a big part of the events that you guys do. Absolutely. Like music. So you have, so you said reggae, salsa, do you have like any R&B? hopes or anything like that like well we'll we, I, I think we mix in uh pretty much uh anything from 90s early 2000 with a sprinkle of what's going on today okay uh, i get some swv okay. some Odyssey, okay. you know, chris, chris bender you, you, chris bender, bender, you know yeah. okay. this is your event if you want that type of stuff okay how do you go about your marketing like as far as like your market to like how do you go about it like as far as like any mediums that you use like Facebook, Insta, you know, like, what, is it social network marketing that you use mainly? Or? Well, social uh, network marketing I use, so um, we utilize our Beats and Eat CLE website, beatsandeatcle.com, mm -hmm. um, and everything, we, we call it like a circular marketing thing, where we utilize Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Squarespace, we do uh, email blast. Um, we do old school guerrilla marketing where we print out thousands of flyers and you might see myself or, or anybody else on the team uh, walking and putting flyers in people's windshields. It's just, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, and Arrogant does a great job of kind of commanding the uh, Facebook uh, realm where he has different groups. Uh, and he just probably, probably connects to everybody in the yeah, city. I see, I see, I see yeah. him on there. I see him on there. I try, man. He's a marketer. He's a marketer. Like, like on, a, on, a, on a timer, man. But what really makes it work is like uh, what, what, uh, what Brent was saying. I really believe, like, you know, back in the day, the whole thing was it, it's been a matriculation and promotion. People will go and put flyers on the cars. Now, to me, an effective promotion is encompassing all of it. 
social media, hand to hand flyers, word of mouth, taking time to tell somebody about your event uh, when they ask me. And then even with us, you know, we're not hard to find. If you put the hashtag Beats and Eat CLE, which is the uh, overall hashtag for the event, all kinds of stuff is going to pop up. So we just try to encompass and utilize it all so people just continue to find out about it. Right, and that's what we do. We use a lot of that too, the hospital yeah, water, yeah. TV, to make sure, you know, and you guys uh, notice that you, you know, you're. You're trying to grow, you're trying to do more things, and um, are you doing anything outside of the city, or is there anyone that you can stay in contact with outside of the city to get like an idea of like what you can do? Like outside of, not even outside of the city, outside of the state. Uh, I'll, let you, I'll go first. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Uh, I think uh, so it's kind of like a team effort. Uh, when we get out and travel, whether it's with family or for the jobs, uh, we're just exposed to different things. So I know the Beats and Eats uh, in 2017, uh, we've looked at several venues and collaborations because we're uh, sponsored by Kettle Run Vodka. So we've looked to move to Nashville, um, DC, Chicago, and um, Miami markets. Um, but you know, just just time will tell if, if those if those work out. All and right. the business were real in Atlanta. So okay. that's been one what's of up? the times. Yeah. That's what's up. On a lighter note, last question, lighter note, um, you know, you have a big target with music. Um, what can we find in your iPod? Ah, uh, my iPod. That's a great question. Um, I think it kind of goes top three. Top wow. three. Oh wow. Like okay. what are you listen to now? Yeah, what are you listen to now? I'm stuck in the '90s, so I'm gonna have to go. Jodeci is always in my iPod. Um, I'm a real big Anthony Hamilton fan, and uh, in terms of rap, uh, Tupac is always. He's he's never gonna leave my iPod. So I listen to at least two or three Tupac songs. A day. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm just stuck in the '90s. Yeah, I, for me, it's like this. This is such a a tough uh, question because because I host events, I have to listen to everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I listen to a little bit of the mumble mouth rap and auto tune. Although I don't really <laughs> want to, so I just do it. but uh, for me, I like the guys uh, of today that are kind of encompassing uh, what was there before. So Jake Anderson Pop is really big. Uh, in the fall right now, I love Anderson Pac, man. I think like this guy. A lot of people really don't know who that is, but Anderson Pac, man. If you haven't listened to him, man, he's a guy that has really encompassed the '90s and early 2000s into his music and incorporated the sound. And now Anderson is amazing, so I listen to him a lot. Uh, on the old school tip, lately for some reason I've been listening to uh, Ice Cube's Greatest Hits, man. Made me really realize uh, how much really good stuff he has going on, and then. Tribe Call Quest, you know, I've been messing with the Tribe, tribe. lately. Yeah, that's they lately. got a new album out too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So lately, that's what I've been on. That's been, and, you know, I go back to my 90s. I got the new Bell Biv DeVoe album. I love it. You know, no I got that story, too. all that, you know. Okay. Well, I really want to thank you guys for coming on our show. You've been listening to In the Spotlight. Tell our social media before we go. Okay, go ahead. Tell your social media. All That's right. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Brent Roach Events. Uh, you can follow me. Any questions, or you can go to our website, beatsandecle.com. All right. Mine is simple. You can find me at Aerovision, A R R O V I Z I O N, on Facebook, on Instagram, and Twitter. It's all the same thing. And you can hashtag Aerovision as well, and things will start popping up. Anything I got going on with him or anybody else. Okay, now once again, I am still Biz for Hostel Water TV. Email Hostel Water TV at Hostel Water uh, ENT at yahoo.com. Or give us a call, 440-222-0603. Thank you for watching In the Spotlight. Thank you, fellas, for joining us today. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Austin Water Entertainment. Oh, that's classic. 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 Classic.